Nile's Brady Barr is searching for the largest Nile crocodile he can find so he can measure its bite force. They spotted one, but it's a little bigger than expected. In fact, it may be too big. Brady's in the water, in the dark, with the croc. Just as the crocodile begins to roll, Brady jumps back into the boat. I thought I was going to be the bait. I did not want to find out the bite force with a part of my body that is a big croc. As long as the croc is in the water, it has the advantage. But getting this baby up on shore isn't easy. One, two, three. There's no way, guys. There's no way. It's going to take the entire team to move this nearly 1,500-pound giant. But first, they need a little insurance. OK, you guys, I'm going. Pull, 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 pull. You ready? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't it. take much to keep a croc's mouth closed, but once it clamps onto something, that vice-like grip isn't easily opened. One, two, three. They try again to get the croc out of the water, but he won't budge. They'll have to do their work under less than ideal conditions. It's time to untape the jaws, open the creature's mouth, and try to put the bite meter in. Okay. Okay, Hannes, hang on. I'm taking the tape off. This is the most dangerous part of the mission. Okay, Hannes, are you on it? Yes. I'm gonna take the tape off the eyes, too. Okay, I'm ready. Pounds. That was a big one. 2,500. 2,500 pounds of astonishing bone-splintering force 